Hello, welcome. My name is Money from Kata Studio. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple payment channel in your website. So this will enable people to purchase stuff from your website, simple products actually. They will also be able to do donations and purchase tickets and stuff like that. So this is not a full-time integration with WooCommerce for e-commerce websites and all of that. This is just a simple payment channel that enables people to purchase a specific product from your store. So for instance, these are products I want to sell and they have their prices and a button. I want people when they click on this button they can proceed to making payment directly without any connection with my website through my paystack account you can use fluta wave for this you can also use paypal you can use a uh, stripe payment the same procedure their own different uh, pattern but the same procedure everything works just the same so to do this all we need to set up our page with the image of our content which we want to sell sell or actually we can also move in to create a page like so yeah we are going to be having a button or with the image of the product we are selling or cutting we, we actually want to sell possibly it's a ticket we want to sell everything i'm going to show you what to do right from here so create a page like this and then we can add in a button let's just add a simple button from here okay let's assume that this is the button we are going to be adding let's add a little bit of padding and margin all around it and above, we have to adjust it a little, move it away from the top. The color, I want it to be on brand. Possibly we can pick on the green color. The text should be white and the background color should be this color. Fine. So possibly we can do left and right alignment to 50-50. Okay, to make the button look nicer. Okay. Purchase now. Then the font, I think we can increase the font a little more. Just make it like, um, let's say 19. It's okay, perfectly fine. Thickness can get down to 14. I think this is okay. When you hover on it, there should be an effect. The text can switch back to the color and the background color can switch then back to this. Mm, it's cool, but not very cool for me. Perfect. So we have gotten the basic, which is the button we will want, which we want people to actually click on to purchase. So let's get into pay stack. So right here, all you need to do is to head in and create your payment uh, uh, page. Okay. So this is actually what I'm talking about. So when you log in, you're going to get this page. You can turn on test mode or live mode from here. If you're actually on test mode, your payment won't come through. You have to make sure you turn this to live mode. This is a client platform. So I'm using this for an instance. So we click on payments page and first with this page we can now add new page from here or just click on option to add new page so now we have one time payment we have subscription base and we have the product uh, payment so product payment you want to sell uh, digital products or physical products you can use this particular one possibly we set up that particular page as a uh, content like so then this is a subscription you want people to pay and then they will be charged possibly every month with their card for that particular service okay so this is one-time payment where people are going to be paying once but there are more conditions to this so let's choose the one-time payment if that's the case so here is the name of the page which is the name of the form itself so i will call this uh uh kata studios lesson okay now the payment description is just the information you want to add to the payment which is very important you can add anything you want from there you can leave it scant if you don't want to here is the seo for seo reason you add, need to add in an image that represents what you're selling so you see the size they give from here it can be rectangular size which it makes sense 1024 times 512 so you can be a jpg or png just click on this to choose the file you want to add then you can add the file possibly we want to use this or we want to use this let's add this this is the accurate size you'll be needing rectangular size okay not square so if you want people to pay once for this particular product you have to enable this so when you enable this you are putting in a fixed amount so we are going to add like five thousand or whatever amount we want to add but when we remove this that particular one collapse collect phone number if you want to collect more information from this people like their phone number the form will include that option so you can click on show advanced options so here we are going to add the title of this particular product okay so why it is essential to do that is it is now the link you are going to be sending to people but it's going to be having a closed caption so it's not going to be like spaced out so we can call this kata studios lesson okay perfectly well the url is perfect so you're not going to, going to, not going to send the link 
paystack.com slash pay slash Kata Studios lesson, okay? Or whatever the title of whatever you're selling, possibly a ticket or whatever, okay? So redirect the payment link is, maybe you are selling this course and you the course is actually hosted, the course is taking place in WhatsApp or Telegram, copy your Telegram or WhatsApp link, this is where you're gonna paste the Telegram or WhatsApp link, right over here, okay? Here is success message. What message do you want the people to receive after they send message? It could be, thank you for purchasing this product, you are now, you now, you are now redirected to WhatsApp, for the lesson or for the course, whatever, okay? Whatever you wanna put in there, just fill that information in. New notification to, now the email which we'll be receiving an email after this, after someone actually attempts or purchased a product. So what email do you want the person, do you want to receive this notification of a new purchase from your store? What email? You're gonna put that email right, right in here, okay? So do you want to collect any extra information? So we can now put, fill in name of the field name of the person we click this option uh we can add the, the title of the field we want so here we can say first name here we can say email we have added email already so we can okay we have, we have left phone number not email we can say email then we can say address whatever information you want to add or you want to collect but bear in mind that this shouldn't have too much of information because you just want people to quickly pay and go their way okay or just join your course so make it as simple or as seamless as possible once you're done hit on the option to create your form is now created now you see it says visit the page or we can copy the link so click on this option we have copied the link right away we have to get back and then we paste the link here so click option here and we click here and we paste the link control v we have the link pasted here we save it now the link is saved we click to view the page now we have the link here and we have the page so we click on it whenever we click on it it opens that page we can now decide if we don't see this this is a test page where you can see the payment page work do not share this customer so which means that the page actually we created is on test mode because we have not enabled the full mode we have not enabled it i talked about this in the beginning okay so make sure you enable this first but first of all before you be able to enable this you must have to set up your pay stack fully well it must have to be approved before you be able to do that so if you are there are many videos online on youtube to teach you how to do all of that so now you see the if you if you want this particular button to lead somebody to the next page not open in that same page you know what to do you can click on the on the settings from over here open in new page just right from here open a new page and you are good to go when we save it again and we go back to that previous page when we click on this particular link it will open a new tab i hope you get the point so that's how to create that particular form now we have it cut lessons and by body blah 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 because it's going to show the company which owns this particular pay stack account so here we're filling the first name the second name the email whatever see this information we just listed that we are adding those are the informations that have been provided over here so we want to select the amount now we actually didn't add any option for us to uh put a specific amount so users can now pay any amount they want to pay but if assuming we want to put a specific amount we can go back to our form which we just created let's click on edit but if you don't see this let's get back to the form let me show you how it's going to look like so you're going to see like something like this click on it to preview then you can click on edit page so from edit page, you can scroll down till we get to the part where we want to enable that, we want a fixed amount, and we want this to be 5,000. So once you do and publish this, we are good to go. We go to the front end. When we refresh this, you are going to see we have a stable price, which is the, we can actually alter the price. You understand that? So put your first name, you put your email address. I think these informations are provided earlier. We didn't notice that. So these informations, remember, it should be a different information because you have first name and second name as default. Normally it comes with the form. So no need of adding it again. So where we added this option should actually be removed. We don't not need that, need those extra fields. Those extra fields could be for extra information like location and stuff like that. So we clear this out and update it again. Then we we'll go to our page and we refresh. So this has no connection with your website itself. Very simple and straightforward. Okay. When somebody fill in their information, since this is a test mode, you can actually test this and see how this works. So click fill in the information. Then we click on make payment. Okay. Then here now we can select whether we want it to be a success message, select it and make payment and it is good to go. We are good to go. But if this particular page is enabled, we enable this particular mode to live 
we are going to be creating a form for life because we just created the form for the test mode we can't use a test mode form for life so we have a test mode form separately so whenever you go live make sure you create a form separately for that you can use the form for test mode for life so this is simply how to create it you can create it for forms for donations put the images above like i show you the instance i show i show from over here we are going to have the button from here still the same thing still the same thing applicable okay our next payment tutorial will be how to embed a use payment a pay stack a paypal payment in your website this is in form of button you can just add a pay, pay, paypal button without adding any e-commerce plugin and you can receive payment just as we did for this one the same applies we are going to do that for stripe also and we're going to do it for any other uh, platform actually which interest us but we are going to be starting up with paypal okay so I think this helps you in this case. If you have any question, you can drop that in the comment section below. Once again, my name is Manu from Kata Studios. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you share, like, subscribe, and do have a wonderful day.